Greetings, everybody. I hope you're all doing fucking fabulous. I do. This is a new setup we got here right now, right? And I don't know how good this is going to sound or whatever, right? Bear with me, please. I'm going straight into Reaper. Straight into Reaper. Look, did you hear that? That's me. Now, look. It's cool, isn't it? So I'm recording, like, directly into the focus right into the computer. Isn't it marvellous? Still learning. Just using what I got. I hope you're all doing splendid. I just sat down to play, to practice and noodle around and uh, bring you with me. Do you know, uh, just now, just before sitting down, I just fixed a bracelet. I've got a lovely story about this bracelet. Let's talk about that for a little bit then, shall we? I think we should. I just finished the song earlier as well, earlier on today. A Touch of Death. Also known as the Dimmock Shuffle. Also known as the Serious Face Dance. Righty though then. Um I fixed the no bracelet today and the uh, what had happened was I found a bracelet when I was going through some of my things a, a couple of months actually it was more than a couple of months ago, about five months ago or something like that. I found an old bracelet when I was going through deep at the back of my stuff, like do you know what I mean? It's just things I haven't been through for a while like. And, uh, stuck it on my wrist, a way to go. Crack on with things as normal, and then over time, it's bloody, it's bust now, it broke, it did. Uh, it just bloody snapped on me. Whilst I was going through a lot of stuff around the house, like, you know, doing some changes and all that, I found this little lace. It was a silk lace, very smooth black lace. And what I had done was, I was like, oh, that's lovely material, isn't it? Oh, it's lush, yeah. Takes me back, like, when I was a kid. And, um, couldn't find anything that did come off. Tie this around my wrist, now it looks lovely. And so there I did, tied it. It's been like six or seven months, maybe, now. And it hasn't come off. It is held up against everything. I wash regular. It's been under numerous water situations. I go up to the forest trees. I hike and I hike. And I've gone on many a quest. And this material has not even flinched. It has not flinched. And I was like, blink your neck. That's a strong bugger, isn't it? So the bracelet I had with the skulls on it, little colourful skulls and um, uh, eyes. Very colourful, beautiful thing. Very unique as well. Uh, that bracelet had snapped, so the beads would have gone everywhere, isn't it? So what I had done was find a new material to fix this bracelet, something strong, something that is weathered and uh, stood the test of time. And I looked to my left wrist and I seen that material on my wrist and I was like, fucking right. That was meant to be. There we are, that's a lovely little story, isn't it? So I sat here with a toothpick, I say. A little toothpick. And I threaded it through bead by bead. Little colourful skull by little colourful skull. Little colourful eyes and uh, little colourful eyes. <laughs> I sat there and I just put them, threaded them through, listening to Black Sabbath, the album Black Sabbath. And I was there uh, loving it, just uh, focusing on something else for a little bit, like sitting down for five minutes. It took about five minutes, actually. 
It didn't take me that long. It was about five minute job. But I had glamp on as well, you see. Yeah, man. I had to rearrange myself with the headset because I did a mistake. I... Ow. I've been talking for ages. <laughs> I might be a little bit out of tune. Uh, we need to sort that now. I made a mistake earlier with the fucking headphones. What I had done was, you see, I stuck my headphones on, the fucking big old school ones. AKG, is it? Hold on. AKG K72s. I fucking love them, man. They feel retro and beautiful and everything, like. If I feel like I'm I'm writing fucking Viking music, and then this is my Viking helmet. If I feel like I'm writing space music, and this is my fucking spacesuit helmet. Uh, do you know what I mean? That's how I feel. And what I had done was, you see, I put these headphones on first, and then I put the headlamp on top of that, and the elasticity was doing something to my head and I was like, oh my god, I feel a bit dizzy right here. I'm going to head back to my desk now. I already fixed my desk this morning, you see, because I had a hell of a session on Seven Days to Die and I got really excited when I finished the tier 6 quest with no fucking guns at all. Sticks and stones, man. So what happened was, I put the headlamp over the headphones and it was like really tight on my head now. And, um, I don't know, like, started feeling funny. I've taken the headlamp off now because I no longer need it. That was only just so I could see fine detail, I tell you, when I was fixing my bracelet. And I hope it holds up very well, this bracelet. I do. But, yeah, I feel a lot better now. I, I, I switched them around. What I did was I took my headphones off now, right, for listening to Black Sabbath. And then I put the headlamp on and then I put the headphones on last and i was much better i could uh, you know the blood was flowing again now i'm oof, good morning i'm awake Yum. this is unique for me mind doing this stuff let's have a fuck around is it i thought i spat on my screen but it was the it was that i'm out of tune and i let's tune up of bits out now i literally just cut loads of bits out i forgot i was recording i didn't realize i wasn't recording i was like oh my right we're here now let's do it i'm just random stuff like that you see for my mind it's like um running around uh, you know like you practice uh, things like uh, like practice runs and whatnot basic fundamental piss easy get on it champ stuff just to get your fundamentals straight 
when I improvise sometimes, it's like my mind is doing its fundamental practice, you see. And then sometimes I just press record and play with the drum kit. Or a fucking orchestra, it doesn't matter. Or like I say, biscuit tin or whatever. By claw or by paw. <laughs> Unapologetic expression. The world needs more of it. isn't it? some fucking tube screamer on the go. Now I'm just going off for one. Gotta do a bit more. Um... What the heck was? Uh, random notes coming in now. I don't know. 
just chilling, man. Drinking my coffee cold. My coffee is cold, but that's okay. I'm just sailing away with this music, I guess. I'm just practicing. It feels like I'm doing more of an exercise for my mind today, champions. It does feel like I'm doing more of an exercise for my mind at this practice, I tell you. At this ritual here today. Yeah. I wonder what that means. Let's chill. Let's chill and find out. Why does this guitar ritual feel more like a practice for my mind than for my physical tools and physical motor skills and things to keep my skills very cohesive as I can, as much as I can. <laughs> but today, it feels like I'm doing a very vigorous exercise for my mind. Because what I try to do is blend them both together. The physical tools and my mind. But today, man, it really feels like um, it's all in the mind today, baby. That's how it feels like, you know. My hands feel very strong. Um... And very, um, what's the word, when you're, like, warmed up, you always feel like you're warmed up and ready to go, like, loose and ready. I feel uh, strong, like, you know, my fingers and my, um, what's it called, my ability to think fast on the spot with my hands when I'm improvising and things like that. Can my fingers handle it and things like that? Of course. My coordination. Get it down, man. I feel like I'm on the ball physically with my uh, music journey, but I feel like, uh, do you know when something is lacking in something, it kind of lets you know, and, uh, ah, sorry, I'm just stretching. I feel like I've had, like, my body behavioural patterns have been telling me pretty much I need to exercise my mind more, if you know what I mean. Like, so I'm like, when I'm improvising now, what I should be saying is practicing. Do you know what I mean? This is a practice session I've sat down for here today, right now as I'm recording. This is going to be a practice session, but it turns into a ritual or something, you see? And I'll record it. I'll record it for us all, isn't it? So we can all have a fucking listen to what they get up to here. And uh, thank you for being with me on this adventure. I am not going to stop this music journey, and um, I can't, <laughs> literally, <laughs> I can't, <laughs> but it's all good, it's really good, I'm okay with that, I am the bringer of song, we're back on now, yeah, we're back on now, I'm gonna light my lighter up, I've been on the go all day, I have, all right, let's play a little bit. around a bit then. I was going to press the looper on and I thought, fucking hell, I am got a looper down there. Oh no, I was going to have something like...
for coming down. Yeah, they would have gone, I guess. Ready? It's not bad the sound actually, yeah. That would be in front of the amp, I would. I don't usually put reverb in front of the amp, you see. I've been using the Marshall Roulette a lot recently. I love it. And I put the, the reverb in front of the amp on that. Straight in, man. I got my Tube Screamer, I got my Voodoo Octave, and I've got my Black Rose, and I've got my reverb. The Black Rose is an octave pedal fuzz machine, and it's beautiful and very exquisite to me. It's uh, an octave low. And a hell of a fucking powerful fuzz as well. Strong fuzz, like. Strong fuzz sound. And, uh, yeah, it's got nice options for thick and thin on it. Lovely, 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 lovely. <laughs> Let's have a play around with that, shall we? Let's have a go then. Let me turn my chair. I've got my tube screamer in as well, but that's not on. It's not engaged. Everything is off. Let's go. Right, hold on. Wait, let me just switch switch amps properly now. I'm not using. There we are. That's better. <laughs> cool. Let me see if I can do something. Maybe not. Wait. Yeah, there we go. Cool, man. Just moving things around on the track. Yeah, on the track screen. Tracking screen. I wonder what photo we'll use for this episode. I wonder. I should have picked it and just looked at it whilst I was recording like I did last time. Look, we're at 34 minutes in. 34 minutes in. If you made it this far, love you forever. <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> Let's play with these pedals. And I forgot, nearly forgot about that. I was going to go off on another fucking tangent like. <laughs> Let's do it. We're going to play with the, uh, what's it called? We're going to check on the Voodoo Octave first. Let's do it. It's got Octave up on it as well, man. I've got the settings just halfway. Yeah. Turn the fucking fuzz off for a minute. Let's just have the randomness that it brings. Oh, man. Sparks. <gasps> yeah, man. I love a spark or two, I do. Got to be very careful. Got to be very careful. What it is, you see, my daisy chain... The top of the the kit the, the, basically I can't the nine volt slot that goes in is it's not the the adapter head is like not fitting in there like so I've got to make an adjustment there and just hold it in place by another cable sometimes but we're here now let's do it. <laughs> Doesn't it? Am I recording? I bloody well am. Bloody well am. Hold on, what, what the fuck you know? Oh yeah, we'll do our scroll it like a we're still recording. Yep. 
It's cool, isn't there? Look, let's do it dry. Watch me just take the cable out now, but just standing on it again. Well, it's not really the paddle's fault why this is happening, why, why it turns itself on and off and it sparks and stuff. The reason why this happens, you see, is because sometimes when I'm recording, do you know when I say, oh, I'll jump on that pedal now, you know? I'll just jump on them all and just turned it on. I literally mean, I literally jumped into my pedals and turned, and they all turned on. And whatever turns on is what the fucking guitar tone will sound like for that bit. You get excited when you play sometimes. You know what I mean. As an artist, uh, very passionate, uh, you, you mean these things happen. And then you were lucky to press record and have it recorded somehow. And I pressed record and on a few songs over the past few months has been hectic. And then, whoosh, the music fights back, isn't it? The music keeps you going. Hopefully it'll put a smile on somebody's face and make their day feel better or inspire them to play an instrument or to play basketball or to, I don't know, be a wizard, to be a witch or to do whatever you want. Whatever, actually, whatever you blinking well want to do. Anyway, let's move on. Right, I jump on my pedals quite aggressively sometimes and I fuck them up and I have to repair them myself and try my best to repair them. Maybe I've got to look into this one a bit more. Let's go. This is a dry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Let's put these on there, right? That's just not that's the, just the fuzz. Ooh, it sparked again. Keep the black rose on then and turn off the voodoo octave. That's cool. coffee and I'm, I'm telling you I need some coffee. I need me some coffee. <sighs> right then. Yeah I like this black rose pedal, it's really nice. <laughs>
reminded me of being a kid again, that did. I'm not gonna lie. That reminded me of being a kid again. Let me just swivel my chair right round here. Now let me explain why. Let me light this up now. Hmm. It reminded me of being a kid again because of the vigorous practice I put myself through. Indeed, blood as well. Literally blood and sweat and actual tears. Right. Let's go. Anyway. Oh, I, what? I've got my bloody YouTube streamer on. It's a bit aggressive, isn't it? It reminded me of being young because of the practice like I would take like a major, like a major arpeggio. Something simple. I'll take that like that, and just what I'm doing here, just. the wrong note on and then you pull it to somewhere where it sounds good again and then you go hmm that sounds pretty damn good doesn't it well i try to learn what i did and then i'll study it then you see i'll study what is it what is that i'm do i did there what was that and then uh, I learned something new, and I can have that in my little arsenal then, you see? Another bow, another string to my bow. That's all it is. But the, I, have to, I have to start with the fundamentals, and strongly so. Blink your neck, what is a structure? A structure, look at it. You need a certain discipline at some times in life. Do you know what I mean? And for me to do whatever it was, and ever whatever it is I'm doing, I need a certain discipline. It has to be. Do you know I mean because I like what I do, and uh, with practice, uh, I do find a lot of enjoyment because uh, everything is practice as long as you're sticking to it. Like, do you know what I mean? As long as you're doing it, whatever it is, you go through things and you get experience and you'll get better and better and better. I've just never stopped doing it, you know, as soon as I had my guitar, I just didn't stop playing it, do you mean? I did not stop playing it, I learned how to play it. Uh, I'm actually a left-handed person, and I learned to play right-handed. I had to go through that, because uh, there weren't many left-handed guitars around me, so I thought, fuck it, let's just learn to play a right-handed style. So I flipped over, and here I am today, playing right-handed. <laughs> so I love where this ritual is going. It's just going all places, isn't it? But yeah, strict discipline. I practice 29 hours a day. <laughs> How is that even possible, man? I don't know. Well worth it. Seriously. <laughs> I could be fucking talking shite to you. Come on. I'm not talking lies, though. Let's change it around a bit. one off for a minute right i have to fucking fix that can't be having that now what happens if we go into battle now what happens if we needed that urgently i'm fixing shit today like mental i tell you i fixed a beautiful bracelet up and i'm going to be fixing this voodoo octave because it has unrelenting power and i have to help it out a bit i have to get that fucking input sorted in a bit now and i'll hopefully not get electrocuted i've had a few of them i've had a few shocks over the years <laughs> Let's practice. Sorry, back to that little thing. And if 
I made a mistake, I would stay in that part and I'll be like, fuck you, fuck you, you fuck you, you fuck you, like that kind of thing, back and forth, I'm like, you little bastard, try to trip me up, but uh, what you saying? I'll try and reenact something stupid like that, right? So I'll go like this, right? Ready, go. Practice it like that. So I made a mistake somewhere there, you see, as I was practising. And I grabbed that mistake and I said, listen, you bastard. Behave yourself, please. <laughs> let's just fuck around. Come on, let's go. Beautiful way to make a sound, isn't it? That isn't it, everyone. Sounds fucking messy in a good way. Let's play it under there.
very little gain there. Whoa! That's scary. I stood on my cable, man. Let me just sort this out. Blinking heck. There we go. Anyway, hold on a minute. <laughs> fucking split on my index finger oh man from doing this kind of <laughs> fucking hell It's like my mind is exercising, do you know what I mean? That's what it feels like tonight. I had a lovely quest this morning to the local shop. It was beautiful out there. Absolutely beautiful. I seen snowdrops as well, man. And they were fucking clean, beautifully clean. Indeed. Let's practice, practice. Righty-o then, champions. Put it on there. Bloody hell, dear lad. Wait, turn off the uh, voodoo off there for now.
I'll go drive on. No. That sounds a bit mad, isn't it? What's going on there? I, I turned the volume all the way up on the guitar. This is not really, I don't know, this volume thing is a special tool, remember that? I don't know how to explain it, like, but, uh, I do know how to explain it, but I'm doing something else right now, sorry. Uh, right, it's, it's, good. It, it's like magic, right, I tell you, it's, 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 a, it's a magic thing. It is, uh, like, a thing in its own. It's part of the instrument. Don't you forget that. <laughs> but anyway, you can go from something like... Let me just turn this down. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. Let me turn this... Well, that's a bit much. I should have had an overdrive for something like that. Let me try something else. If I want to go to guess. Quite, it's quite up there, that is. It's quite loud, kind of thing. It's quite fucking like that a bit, isn't it? Now, the thing is, you see, you just turn the little volume thing, but you turn it down a bit. Plastic dials, you see, I usually have plastic, but tonight we're using metal ones, but it doesn't matter because they do the same fucking thing, really, isn't it? It's just fucking whatever you want, isn't it? It's whatever you feel comfy with. I feel it comfortable tonight, I can tell you that, right? So I'm going to turn this down a bit more, and we're going to get something a little bit different, probably. We'll see, look. I'll shut it all the way off now, actually, and I'll turn it up just a drop, a droplet. Well, I just turned the dial down a little bit, that's all. Dynamics is good to see.
Ritual. Thank you so much, everybody, for sitting there chilling, listening to me playing the guitar and doing what needs to be done. I don't even need my headphones on now, really, if I'm just talking. I was there. Fuck it, hell, man. May peace be with every one of you. Thank you for sticking around. I will see you all at the next ritual. <laughs> Take care, everybody. Take care, everybody.